Now, dreams are a powerful thing, in my experiences. I, I apologize for the giant headphones. Um, <laughs> I, uh, my smaller ones need to charge, so I'm using the big kahootas, as I call them. I actually want to turn them off, since I don't need them until I get to the gym. <sighs> I had a dream last night about a friend of mine, someone I care about very deeply. You know, I, I know he and his wife are both convinced I hate them, but no, I don't. In fact, I'm gonna be honest and transparent here, I miss them incredibly. You know, I used to be close to both of them. You know, these two individuals that I don't have in my life. And them being gone, it's, it's like a part of me is gone too. Um, I shouldn't talk about him, at least not on YouTube or anywhere, but I'm going to because I need to, because I don't think they believe me when I say that I care. There was a time when my friend would help me through my sexual identity issues. There was a time where I was crying so badly that he actually sat in front of me on the ground while I'm crying, desperately trying to overcome being lonely, overcome the sexual de depravations and my sin. He would love me. Wait, wait. He would love on me, tell me that I am loved and hold me as I would cry in front of him and his wife more so he would reach out to me give me words of encouragement and share with me how proud he was of me of the fact that I am committed to my relationship with Tanya and at one point he even went as far as got me the Magnificent Marriage book this man was incredible with ukulele he was amazing when it came to his music styles. He was, in my opinion, destined to be a music leader. Even though he has attacked me, he has emotionally abused me, he has gone through my friends to try to destroy my reputation, I still love him as a brother in Christ. But something demonic is in his life. Something so demonic that it has a hold on him to a point where he can't even be friends with me anymore. I know this this is a, a demonic situation because um, almost a month ago I said in the name of Jesus leave my life and never return. He did. He didn't he has not messaged me ever since. He has not contacted me ever since. But he's still trying to reach out to me through other people. Recently there was a situation. There was a letter. Someone here in Lacey wrote a very nasty letter and mailed it to him. When I say wrote, I don't mean they handwrit it. They typed it. And then they sent it without a return address or a name. And both him and his wife are convinced that I'm, I'm the one that sent it. So they tried to attack me through my pastor. Then my pastor came to me and asked me, Victor, did you send him that letter? And I said, no. I said, no. Why? Because I'm not a coward. I'm not someone that's going to hide behind... I'm not going to do that. That's not who I am. So, I've been forced to do one of two things. Either A, hate this man and his wife for their consistency of abuse, or I can love them and forgive them and make this video. And truth is, I'm making this video because I need them to know that I forgive them despite their attempts to attack me. Uh, discredit my who I am and forgive them 
of any and all accusations or trespasses on my personality. And the truth is, I, I forgive them in the name of Jesus. I, I'm not going to hold my anger against them. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm tired of the drama between me and them, which is why I made a farewell video a little over a month ago. And I, I meant every word I said in that video. I that video just by typing Caleb D. Wilson into the YouTube search thing engine. It comes up with him first, actually, and then it'll show a video that I made over a month ago. And it's not getting taken down. That was my farewell. That was my last video that was supposed to be for him. And now I'm put in a position where I can't just ignore him. I can't just walk away and act like nothing just happened. I can't just be silent and just let him keep attacking me. Not my personality. In the in this letter, I don't know the details, and honestly, I really want to know what was sent, because I'm almost curious, because here's the thing, if they're saying things similar to me, that must mean they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing. My point in this video is that if you have enemies in your life, you have people that are hurting you, betraying you, treating you crap, don't repay evil with evil. Love on them. Pray for them. Support them. Show them the love of Christ. As Christians, we are called to love the Lord our God with our heart, with our soul, and our strength. And also love our neighbor as ourself. These are the two greatest commandments. And also, to be honest, the commandments, the only commandments we are called to follow as Christians. And if we follow the two rules, we should be able to love unconditionally all the other things. I'm saying this because I'm personally sick and tired of the church hurting sheep wounding sheep. I'm tired of it and I'm sick and tired of seeing people I care about get hurt because someone said something someone else didn't like. I'm sick and tired of so-called Christians saying, oh, I'm justified to go hurt my brother. I'm justified to attack my sister because of some biblical outrageous assumptions. Truth be told, I personally forgive you, whoever you are doing that. The gossiping, the lying, not telling the truth. If you're doing that in your life, you need to repent, turn around. That's all I have to say. That's the whole point of this message. And you, have a good day.